Hello everybody and good morning. Today we shall speak about the gematria. Gematria is a way to grant or to give the Hebrew letter a numeral value, which usually means a qualitative value. Let's look at the chart or at the table that we have built here and we shall see how does the gematria works? In Hebrew, we write from right to left. So I start to read at the right up size. The first letter of the Hebrew alphabet is Aleph. Aleph has the value of one. Usually when the Aleph appears in a word, it means unity. For instance, the first verse of the Bible, Bereshit, Bara, Elohim, Bereshit, in the beginning, Bereshit has the letter Aleph inside, Bara, take out, also has Aleph at the end, Elohim, also has the Aleph. So we see already in the first verse of the Torah, of the Bible, that the unity appears. The second letter of the Hebrew alphabet is Bet. Her, or its numeral value, is two. Usually, whenever we meet the letter Bet, we get a contact or we meet duality night and day good and bad light hours or dark hours also ethic could be related to the letter bit sages said that the first word bereshit start with bed because our world was produced on two rails in a way we can only see things on their opposite this is why the bible starts of the letter bed. The third letter of the Hebrew alphabet is Gimel. Gimel or the qualitative number three shows balance between three lines. Grace on the right hand, overcoming on the second and balance between them which is mercy whenever we meet the letter gimel we find a balance in things and a lot of mercy dalet is the fourth letter of the hebrew alphabet and its value is Four. Dalet also in Hebrew refers to the word Delet. Delet is a door. The Dalet is an opener. It's like we open a door for the poor. The Dalet also named in Hebrew Aniyavedala, poor and miserable because it has only two lines not three and so on we continue with the letter he which has the numeral value of five as we can see human has five fingers and this is a full portion whenever we find he usually we shall find a full portion of something the letter Vav, the sixth letter, 
has a value of six. The vav in Hebrew means a hook, a hook that you we can hang things on. The vav also has another function. The vav has a function of connecting, like in English, end. Vehachayim, and the life. Or the vav has a negation function to distinguish. Ve'etz hadat tov vera. I will mark the letters. Here is the letter vav. In the letter vav, as we say in Hebrew, is a hook. The vav can be fun can function as connecting, like the word end in English, or to negate, like ve'etz hada'a tovera to distinguish the good and the bad tree from the tree of life. The seventh letter is Zain, and it has a qualitative number of seven. This is a full portion. We have seven days in a week. Chet is the eighth letter and has the number of eight, qualitative number eight, which means it's beyond nature. Everything which is beyond the seven is above nature. Seven, we say in Hebrew, Sheva, very close to Teva, nature. And eight is above nature, something that we usually not see or hear. This is why also the number eight has this drawing like infinity. It's, it's above things that we can capture. Tet is the ninth letter. It usually signifies the nine months of pregnancy. Yod is the tenth letter. And now we move to another sequel of letters that each letter is equal in tens, in dozens. So when Yod equals 10, Kaf equals 20. Lamed equals 30 and Mem 40. Mem and also the Chaf, they are interesting letters because they have another letter which is called Sufit letter or ending letter. We can see them here. This is Chaf Sufit here down below, which equals 500. We shall speak about this later. So we have Kaf and Kaf Sufit. Also, we have Mem, which is 40 and yeah mem sufit noon equals 50 and has also an ending noon which is noon sufit and samach which equals 60. ein in hebrew ein it means an i in english and the eye, the human eye, has ability to see only the revealed things, which has quality of 70, like the gematria of the word wine in Hebrew, yain. Our eyes as humans are limited, but when we close our eyes, we have a connection to the infinity. So we say Ain, which means 70, and we stress on the letter. We, um, 
we say it from the throat, while infinity and sof we say with aleph. Again, it's returning to unity. Pe has the value of 80. Also, pe in Hebrew is a mouse. Pe also has an ending letter, which is pe sofit. And sadik has the value of 90. Some of us know the Hebrew word of tzaddik, which is a righteous man, a person who look for good things in life. So the tzaddik, the letter tzaddik, its quality that it hunts tzad from the side of the good things in life. This is why righteous man in Hebrew called tzaddik, he hunts for the goodness because they are everything in our lives. Another serial of letter are here below. They are consists of hundreds value. The letter kof has a value of 100. The letter resh has a value of 200. The letter shin has a value of 300. And the letter Tav has a value of 400. As we know, the value of 400 is mentioned in the Bible in few stories. One of them is when Abraham wanted to buy the Machpelah cave in Hebron. He was asked to pay for it 400 shekels. 400 shekels is a full portion, the maximum that we can think of. Also, when Israel went to be slaves in Egypt, it was for 400 years. 400 is always the full portion. The accusative word in Hebrew that we use is et. We use the letter Aleph and the letter tough, which means every time we meet the word et, aleph, tough, we see things from the beginning to the end, et, aleph, tough. And when we read the first verse of the Bible, bereshit bara Elohim, et hashamayim, the heavens, we have et, from beginning, beginning to end, et hashamayim, ve et haaretz, and the land. Here, here's the tav, et hashamayim, ve et haaretz. And now we can look of those ending letters, which we can consider them in two ways. Either the Sofiot has the same value like the beginning letters when Kaf Sufit has a value of here, the Kaf of 20, or the Kaf Sufit has a value of 500, which comes after the 400. Those five letters, the ending letters, consider to be heavy letters, words that are written in those letters, they have a lot of overcoming power, if I may say so, if this is the right word at the moment. So, Kaf Sufit has the value of 500, Mem Sufit has the value of 600, Nun Sufit has the value of 700 and pay sufit has the value of 800 when sadik sufit has the value of 900. What we cannot see here in the page but it's continue below that after 900 comes 1000. So who will have the crown? Which letter will have the crown of carrying the value of 1000? And the secret letter is Aleph. Why? Because the 
letter Aleph, how we spell it in Hebrew in full letters is Aleph Lamed Face of it. But we can also read this, those three letters as Elif 1000. So the Aleph is the opener, which is show, shows or directs for unity. But Aleph is also Elif 1000. And in a way, it's a very interesting way to look at the Hebrew letters. This was a very, very short talk about the letters. If you have any questions, you are most welcome to ask. If not now, maybe later, when you will see this uh, conversation again. And feel free to comment and to ask any question that you like. It was just a testing conversation and I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I am. All the best. I see now questions coming and so somebody asked how to say nice to meet you. So we say in Hebrew, Naim lehipagesh itcha, if it's a male, and if it's a female, we say, Naim lehipagesh itach. There is another question, why do Hebrew letters have numbers? So, because the Hebrew letters are not just um, in like a Latin or English or French letters, they are symbols and oftenly they mirror a higher quality. And sometimes it, it is to decode the meaning of the Hebrew letter, we go to their symbolical numeral value and then we can penetrate even more their inner meaning. Shabbat Shalom people say, is it right? Say, yeah, we say now Shavua Tov when the Shabbat Shabbat Saturday night was yesterday. When we open a new week, we say Shavua Tov, good week. Shavua, week, comes from Sheva, seven. So Shavua Tov. Another, Mr. Abbas is asking, wow, thank you so much. This lesson, I, I was composing uh, Mr. Abbas this uh, lesson after you asked this question one week ago or so. Uh, some, yes, yes. As we said before, the Sofiot letter, the ending letters are, sometimes we can consider them as regular letters, like Mem has a value of 40 and also Mem Sufit has the value of 40. Or sometimes we can deduct it even meta, we call it little gematria, we can take the mem and consider it into little gematria as a four value. So this is also possible. There are many ways, there are many codes to decode the Bible. This is only one little table, there are much more. So we just open this door. Magdalena. I find difficult to read. Okay. It seems that. Okay. So we shall we shall try to make it with colors and bigger. Magdalena, I shall create a new table with much bigger letters and maybe brighter colors that you could see better. Thank you. So I hope you had a good time and please let us uh, 
know if you want to proceed in this direction, if you have other questions, if you have other wishes, like would you like to hear more of the code of the inner biblical stories or more about Hebrew words, just to speak them out, or you want to penetrate to the core text of the Bible. We wish you all the goodness, all the best of everything, and happy winter and water uh, on our globe. See you soon. Bye.